Hello everybody, testing out the audio really quick before we get rocking and rolling. We are currently voting in the description right or in the chat right now on what color uh, jellyfish to make. So make sure to go vote there, but also just let me know how I sound. Oh yeah, and like this video if you haven't already. But yeah, let me know how the audio is. I'm going to play with Jimbo just a little bit to get some energy out of him and then we'll get crocheting. One second, I forgot my water.
All right, Jimbo, ready? It's showtime. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Hope you all are having a great day. Hi, Unlucky Therian. Hi, Emil. Hi, Akira. Arkiri. Hello, everybody in the chat. How are you today? I hope you're doing great. Today, we are going to be crocheting a jellyfish. Well, I have a few things to show you. First thing I want to show you is this. Check it out. Me and Jules got our... They're like our engagement rings slash our wedding rings. Hers looks way cuter, but I really like mine too. Let's see if it'll focus correctly. It looks so cute. It's got like, let's see, can I get it to, here, let me, let me see if I can just zoom in on it. There we go. Look, it's got little stitches. Isn't that cute? I'm so happy with it. It's so cute. Jules' is really, 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 really cute, but I think mine is super cute too. Anyhow, <laughs> uh, anyhow, today we are going to be making our brand new pattern out as of today for a jellyfish. This is a really cool pattern. I think you're really going to like it. I'm pulling it up right now on my, pulling the pattern up right now. But if you want to crochet along with us, you can find it right here by going to clubcrochet.com slash under the sea. You can also find it, uh, the pattern linked at the top of the description there. We're making a jellyfish. It's a brand new pattern. It is, uh, there's no sewing at all. It's actually a really, really fast pattern to make. So we're going to be customizing it uh, pretty thoroughly today in this live stream with your help and your votes. Um, speaking of, we are voting right now on what color yarn to use. So let's go through all the materials and um, you can help me choose which color to make our jellyfish in. So if you want to crochet along with me, besides the pattern, all you're going to need are some scissors, of course, for, you know, the cutty bits. <laughs> a darning needle. I like using a crimped end darning needle like this. Hey, by the way, brand new in the shop as of today, there are, here they are. A bottle of darning needles. It comes with four different needles in four different colors. They're in the shop like today. Um, so yeah, if you want to get some needles, that's a great way to support the channel. And they're really nice. I am very proud of them. And they're all colorful, which, you know, I like a lot too. Uh, you also need a crochet hook. Crochet hook. <laughs> you also need a crochet hook, of course. I am going with a size four millimeter crochet hook. It's my favorite size hook to use. Um, for the yarn that we're going to be using, which is worsted weight cotton yarn, but we're going to go through that right now. For our materials, we're going to be working out of our seasonal crochet kit, which uh, we've been working out of for the past uh, two months, almost two months now, month and a half-ish. And we've worked through a lot of different colors, but I'm very curious of what color you want our jellyfish's main color to be, but let's go ahead and go through this. Um, if you want to get a pin like this, this is also available in the shop right now. A uh, great way to support the channel. As is these giant uh, seasonal crochet kits. Not only can you find these in the shop uh, on our website, but you can also find them actually right beneath this video. If you look right beneath this video, there's a listing for it. It is slightly more expensive if you buy it there than if you buy it on the uh, website itself. And the only reason for that is because they take a cut, you know, Shopify and stuff takes a cut and stuff. Uh, and I do a discount during the during the season. So if you want to get it for a little bit cheaper, you can find it on the website by going to clipcrochet.com slash under the sea. You can also use the code hooked, H-O-O-K-E-D at checkout if you want, and you'll get free shipping. So it's a good way to, to support the channel, but you also get a whole bunch out of it as well. In this is going to be a whole bunch of different kinds of colors of yarn, and we are voting right now between purple, pink, teal, or cyan as our main color. So let's see, we already have 75 votes. So I'm pretty sure that is enough to assume. Let's see. Let's go ahead and end this poll. We're gonna have a bunch of polls though today, including polls for how to, uh, uh, different kinds of hats to make and stuff like that. Looks like y'all chose purple and I love that. I'm actually wondering now if we should do the bottom of the jellyfish a different color. So 
I'll tell you what, here's what we're gonna do. We're All we really need today, by the way, is a purple, and we'll need a little bit of our black yarn or our black thread. I'm gonna use our black yarn to show you how to use yarn as thread, but we'll need that for the mouth. Um, we might use a different color here for the bottom of our jellyfish, but let's go ahead and vote on that. Um, because I'm curious of what you think because I think it might be kind of fun to do like the top of a jellyfish one color and the bottom a different color But it also might be kind of cute to do um, It you know not that way. So let's go ahead and do a vote for that as well really quick Should the bottom of the jelly be a different color? And just a simple yes or no will suffice. All right, cool. And then if you say yes, we'll vote on a different color later. But we're going to be using our worsted weight cotton yarn for this pattern. You can use any kind of yarn that you want. Just make sure that the crochet hook works with the yarn that you're using. Um, I really like this new worsted weight cotton yarn. This is our new Amigurumi cotton yarn. Um, that is available in our crochet kits. I'm also working, I know I have had a lot of people request uh, color packs and stuff. So color packs are coming soon. Um, I, I'm doing something kind of fun where I'm doing like color packs based on the seasons a little bit, but it's only like some of the colors from the season. So the first color pack is gonna be nature themed colors. The second color pack, I'm really proud of the name of it. Uh, we're gonna be using basically all the colors from the season. So that being purple, um, pink, green, uh, teal, and cyan, and it's going to be called the Vaporwave Color Pack, which is like, I don't know, it's just a cool way to say purple, pink, green, and or teal, and cyan. Anyhow, <laughs> all right, so what are we voting for here for different color? <sighs> a lot of yeses. I voted yes, but also it's all totally up to you. If we don't want to do different bottom color, that's okay too. Do I have coffee? You know I got coffee, Samantha. And hello, Samantha. Hello, anthropomorphic cat. Hello, everybody. Uh, do I want to race? Uh, I will lose the race, Crescendro, but you know what? That's okay. We can still race. Go for it. You get started. I'll catch up. Let's see if, let's see if Crescendro will, will win. I have a feeling I might lose this one. Anyhow... Uh, we're also going to be using six millimeter safety eyes in this video. These are also available in the kits, of course. It comes with six millimeter and eight millimeter eyes, but we'll be using six millimeter in this video because I think the littler eyes is just a little cuter. Um, so yeah, we'll probably be using that in this video. And then let's see, I think that's all the materials that we're going to need today. Let's go ahead and keep the black yarn out here. Um, we will do a vote next on the uh the bottom color in just a second but before we do that uh let's talk about all the ways you can support this channel if you would like to support so if you like what's going on here and you want to support us i've talked a little bit about the kits that we have available in the store um pins we have a bunch of different merch including jimbo pins which are extremely cute and for some reason i don't have right here oh here we go We've got Jimbo pins in the store. They're so freaking cute. He is the cutest little thing in the world, uh, and I love him. So we got those available in the store. We've got little burb pins. We got a bunch of different kinds of pins, stickers, all that kinds of stuff. Um, but the best way to support this channel, well, let's go with the free way to support this channel. If you really like what's going on here and you don't want to, you can't support monetarily, or you just don't want to, that's no problem. All you need to do. Like this video down below, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and hit the little like button uh, so that we know that you like it. If this video gets 200 likes, we're gonna do another giveaway next live stream because today we're doing a giveaway. That's right, we're doing a giveaway. You can find links to the giveaway. I think I put them in the description. Let me make sure really quick. Yes, I did. So you can find a link to the giveaway in the description. It's very simple. All I'm basically asking is what your name and email address is so I can notify you if you won. I'm not asking for anything weird. I think I'm asking for your favorite color. I don't know. I always just kind of like want to ask like something kind of fun there. So if you would like to enter the giveaway, just go to clubcrochet.com slash giveaway. There's a link in the description. It's totally free to enter. Uh, and I will be announcing a winner at the end of the live stream. Thank you, Cooper, for posting that. I appreciate you. 
Uh, okay, other ways you can support this channel. Merch, kits. Uh, oh, yes. The best way to support this channel. If you want to support us monetarily, a membership goes a really long way. Memberships give you access to future patterns. They get you access to the exclusive library of tutorials, of which I add new ones every single month. In fact, this pattern is currently a membership exclusive pattern. So you need a membership to access this pattern. The good news is... Membership started at only $5 a month, and you can even get a free trial. So if you want to just try out a membership, see if it's something you're interested in, crochet along with us, and then if you want to keep it, you keep it. If you want to cancel it, you can cancel it at any time. Great way to support this channel. Um, and then the probably really the best, like financially for me, best way for you to support this channel is with an annual pass. Annual pass gets you a new seasonal kit every single season, so we ship out four throughout the year. Um, we're currently on season two right now, but season three starts in October. It's the cheapest uh, way to get the seasonal kits as well. Um, you get an extremely big discount on an annual pass with an annual pass. Uh, you get pins in every kit and yeah, it's just a great way to support the channel. So please consider it. Um, okay. Oh yes, last way, thank you for reminding me, Cooper. The last way to support this ch this channel is with a tip. If you would really like to, and you like me a lot, you can tip me, and that would be awesome. Uh, if you tip, we're going to add something into the background, which we will then afterwards add into the fish pot, which we're going to add to right now, actually. Let's go ahead and switch cams just really quick. We're gonna add stuff to this fish pot. Oh wait, I need a this okay so last week we had a few additions to the fish pot that i didn't add to it so for everybody that tipped last or i'm sorry two weeks ago when we were on the last live stream we're gonna add these to the fish pot the goal here is to fill this fish pot up so these are for the tips last week you know who you are i believe this one's cooper and then we have a few oh wait i want this i want this octopus to be upright that's close enough and then we've got one, this little octopus here, and this little blue squid. These mini patterns are coming out soon. But if you want to support, we'll add new ones to the background at the end of the live stream. Or I, Actually, I kind of like the idea of doing it in the beginning of the live stream. Oh, Jimbo's awake. Hi, buddy. Was I keeping you up? I'm sorry. Am I being too loud? Well, Cooper, thank you so much for your support. Let's go ahead and add something to the background, Jimbo. Stop scratching that. See, I, I, I knew I should have just... Let you keep sleeping, but I didn't. I decided to wake you up like a doofus. I shouldn't have done that, but I did it. Um, okay, Cooper. For $10, we're going to add something a little bigger for the background for you. So let's go ahead and start with... Um, Cooper's added a few whale. Well, yeah, let's just add, let's do another, let's do another whale. We can never have enough whales. So we're going to add this pink whale to the background for you, Cooper. By the way, this whale pattern is coming out, um, like as a free video tutorial, uh, probably within a week. So look out for that soon, uh, because all the whales are now crocheted and made and ready to like the patterns are out. So we're gonna add this to the background for the live stream, but we'll add it to the fish pot uh, in the beginning of next live stream. So that's the goal. Um, Okie oh, dokie. That was a lot. Should the bottom of the jellyfish be a different color? A resounding yes, of course it should be. And let's do a poll. What color should the bottom be? What color should the Uh, so we got, we got cyan, we got pink, we got teal, or we can do white. Th those all could be very interesting. So go ahead and vote on what the bottom of the color of your, of our jellyfish should be. And we're also going to do hats and stuff like that. I'm going to have to get your, uh, opinions on faces, things like that. This is a very fast pattern though. So keep up baby <laughs> so keep up baby <laughs> stop don't laugh at me i only i can laugh at me okay well i love you anyhow all right jimbo let's get crocheting okay when are we going to be live next asks samantha so that's a very good question samantha um i'm 
I'm not really 100% sure. I have it scheduled for Thursday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time as normal. Um, but this live stream's got a lot of views. So, you know, it, I, I might put a vote out again to see what day would be best for y'all to do um, and go off of that. I will tell you next week we are going to be starting a two-parter. So it's going to be a two-part live stream, one next week and one the week after. And we'll be making our uh, Angie the Anglerfish, our big anglerfish pattern for this season, uh, pattern by Sir Pearl Gray. And so, yeah, we're going to be making that next week. Uh, or we're going to start it next week. It's going to take a little bit of time to make. So we're going to start it next week and then finish it up the week afterwards. So that is the goal. Um, we've also got a few new patterns w in the works for us to, uh, this season we're doing more than our allotted six patterns per season. So really the plan originally, and honestly the plan going forward is there's six main patterns for each season, uh, each seasonal crochet kit. So for example, last season we did a bunch of different, like we did cacti and, um, succulents, uh, a bonsai tree, a sunflower, a, so we did cacti, succulent, bonsai tree, sunflower, the, uh, oh, the sunflower pad and, and coasters. And I'm missing one. Oh, the planet earth. Doi. So we did six, those were our main six patterns, but in the seasons, I also come out with additional patterns that are they're kind of thought as like bonus patterns for the season. And so this season we actually have a lot of bonus patterns coming out. So there are a lot of additional patterns outside of the six main patterns for this season. So I'm kind of really excited about that. Um, I also kind of overdid the first pattern this season because the first pattern of the season was really five patterns because we made all these different kinds. Can you stop scratching that? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Jimbo is... Uh, being a little wild buddy yes i know you get attention if you scratch it but i can't keep doing that i'm trying to host something here okay good boy all right <laughs> um i don't know what i was saying oh yeah we just got i'm i have a lot of different patterns coming out this season uh just because under the sea you know like there's a million bazillion ideas for different under the sea critters and creatures to make. And a few of collaboration patterns are coming out this season that have not yet even been announced. So keep a lookout in September for a bunch of new additions to the, to the kit. Um, do my hands hurt right now? No, they don't. They do not hurt, but I will still crack my knuckles because I am a fiend that is obsessed with cracking his knuckles. It's a problem, I know. In fact, these, um, my ring is very interesting here because it fits around my knuckle easy, or like it barely fits around my knuckle, but right here past the knuckle, it's like loosey goosey because my knuckles are giant like a cartoon character, but these parts are loose or, or thin because I just do this like all the time. <laughs> Too much, too much. Do I crochet every day? Of course I do, Samantha. I crochet many times a day, if I'm being honest. Um, I usually make a few things every day. Uh, I will show you, I'll actually show you what I crocheted last night in just a second if you're interested. Uh, I'm really proud of it. It's not 100% done yet. I need to add some buttons to it. Uh, and I'm actually thinking of it to be in another alternative pattern for the season. So. Let me finish up this round here and then I'll show you. Uh, Crochandro is gonna kick my butt in the uh, in the race. We're, we're currently racing to make this jellyfish and Crochandro is probably already almost done, honestly. But, oh well, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, okay, so let's let's go ahead and finish this round up and then I'll show you this cool thing that I've been making uh, Honestly, I was like so proud of it. It was one of those things that I finished crocheting that You know when you like every now and then you crochet a project and It's just like you finish it and you're like, oh my god Like it gives you the joy 
there's like a different i mean i get joy from crocheting like anything really but there's like now that i crochet so much amigurumi i get a lot of joy from crocheting things that aren't amigurumi now because it's just so novel to me because i'm making so many little dolls um i do still get it from making a, an especially creative amigurumi pattern actually this was one of them when i first made this pattern i was so proud of it um i still am very proud of it but i was proud of it then too because there's no sewing at all in this pattern we're going to be making this whole thing without sewing anything together you'll have to sew it closed of course but outside of that you don't have to sew anything together so i do feel that vibe from this pattern itself but let me show you the thing that i made last night that i'm really proud of um do i not use a stitch marker i usually don't use the stitch marker i do use the stitch marker in my video tutorials uh lushy but in um most of the times i don't use a stitch marker um actually okay really quick before i continue and show you what i made uh this is just a really good tip to give you as like a someone that crochets all the time and how i crochet without a stitch marker um some people here probably know this but i will show you lushy just so you can be aware about how i crochet without a stitch marker really easily so if you look at your crochet um, what I do to crochet without a stitch marker is I look for the last increase in a round uh, And that's how I can tell where the end of the rounds where the rounds begin and end So if you look at your stitches here, you probably already know this but seeing you can see single crochets here. They have this V Right there This is a single crochet This is two single crochets going into one stitch You can tell because there's two V's going into one spot this one's only got one V going into one spot. Once you can tell the difference between an increase and a single crochet, it makes it very easy to tell where your increases are in your previous round, which means that when the increases end, like this right here, here we have a regular single crochet and then an increase. And that whole round was that, you know, it was single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet, Oh, single crochet, which means that this is the end of the round. So I can tell that this was the last stitch and I, yeah, so that's what I do. And I'm consistently doing that. Like every single stitch I'm doing, I'm looking at the stitch under that, what, what stitch that was, and then comparing that to the current round that I'm currently on. And that's how I can crochet without using a stitch marker um, pretty easily, easily. It takes practice, but it does make crocheting way, way quicker uh, later on. As you go so there is a little tip for you I hope that helped if you if that tip was helpful like this video <laughs> uh, don't okay I'm allowed to laugh at myself you're not allowed to let's show them the thing that we've been making Jimbo instead of dilly-dallying anymore so I made this I've had this water bottle for a while and I really like this water bottle but I had to get rid of all the stickers off uh, or I had another water bottle that I lost and all the stickers were on my other water bottle, but this one doesn't have any. So I wanted to add like a sleeve for it. So I crocheted this cute little sleeve for it last night. No pattern, uh, at least not yet, but I will be writing a pattern for it. It fits perfectly on there. I really, really like it. And what I'm doing is I made this long strap that I'm gonna add buttons to this, to the sleeve, and then I'll have a like a strap for it, my water bottle, so I can carry it around a little bit easier as I go on my walks. And I can remove the strap whenever I want. It was a really easy pattern, and it used just an entire ball. Like, it was perfectly an entire ball from our seasonal kit. So it was kind of like, oh, wow, well, you know, this might be a really good alternative pattern for the seasonal kit. So I'm gonna work on this um, for an extra pattern this season. I hope to finish it before the season ends, but I will work on something for this. So I just thought this was kind of cool. I wanted to share it with you. Um, I will be adding some new buttons there before I finish this up, but it's basically done. I just need to sew on the buttons. I need to sew on the buttons really tightly though. That is the goal um, because you know, I don't want them to fall off. Okay, so there's my little, little thing that I just wanted to show you. Um, yeah, I thought it was cute. Unlucky Theron says that they are currently making animal head keychains and you made a bunch of bunny bears and frogs and you can't decide what animal to make next. You want me to tell you what animal to crochet next. Okay, 
and we're just doing the heads of animals. And in that case, if you're just doing the heads of animals, no, 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 that's too mean. I was gonna tell you to do a giraffe, but honestly, you'd have to do spots and stuff. That's too tricky. Um, perhaps, okay, bunny. What about a beaver? A beaver is a very unique face of an animal. You can tell it's a beaver right away. That could be kind of cute. Or maybe a, let's see, what animal's heads are super, oh, what about just a cat? What about a kitty cat? Oh, make Jimbo. Make Jimbo's head. That'd be cute. Do that. Do that. That would be cute. And share me a picture. That's cute. Hot tea out of mason jars sounds like a uh, a dangerous a dangerous thing to drink out of Zoe. So that makes a lot of sense actually. Making little sleeves for that. What a good friend you are. Oh, partner. What a good partner you are. How did I get into crocheting? Uh, that is an interesting question. So I got into crocheting in high school, uh, which I've been crocheting now for over 15 years. I believe I'm, I'm on year 16 or 17, which means that I've been crocheting for more than half my life now. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> um, and I started in high school. Uh, I just started to get really crafty in high school in general. Um, there were a lot of just little things that I liked to make. Um, I found something online that was crocheted and I just thought the idea of making a toy out of yarn was crazy. And I was like, what? How the heck do you do that? How would you use like strands of yarn to make something three dimensional? I don't understand how that would work. And so I figured out uh, with a tutorial how to do the single crochet online and then after that i just kind of like started making it up as i went and uh didn't i didn't know what the stitches i was doing all i knew was to do the single crochet but i was like okay well what if i worked into this spot what if i yarned over before i go into the stitch it turned out i was like pseudo inventing stitches that are already invented i just didn't know that at the time uh, and I just got obsessed and I just kept on like experimenting seeing what other things you could make um, and then uh, I started to give them to all my friends as gifts there was a girl that I had a crush on in high school that I gave a bunch of crocheted things to we started dating for a long time it was a terrible relationship but really I did kind of start crocheting because I wanted to give her gifts and stuff so Kind of, it worked out because I got crocheting out of it. And yeah, I guess that's the whole story. And then after that, you know, I started doing tutorials because I was in making up a bunch of stitches that I'd never heard of before. Um, some of which I did realize, you know, oh, this is the half double crochet. It's not like some random stitch I just came up with. But there were a few stitches that I did just straight up come up with, like the spiked bobble and stuff like that. So. I started to get into video tutorials because it was really hard for me to explain how to make those stitches outside of a video tutorial uh, because, you know, I'd never seen them before. And then after I started doing that, I had a friend that worked for a, um, a company that hired YouTubers that like, that essentially like bought YouTube channels and, uh, or, or like, not, they didn't buy YouTube channels, but they just like signed with YouTube channels to get ads on their channels and stuff. And he kind of got uh, coached me in YouTube world. Uh, and then I started doing a lot of time lapse videos and stuff, and I got really into stop motion. Uh, and then I decided I wanted to do more tutorial stuff, and so I made Club Crochet. And. Yeah, there was, there's the long spiel, a little bit. Um, yeah. Uh, do I stretch? I do stretch. I do yoga pretty often. Um, I have, uh, I'll, as people might know, I got a really, really bad, um, really, really bad back pain in, what was that, guys? Like 2020, maybe? Um, where I couldn't sit down anymore, which is actually why I'm standing right now, it was because I created this whole new system to stand while I did my live streams because I couldn't sit anymore. 
Uh, and ever since then, I've been doing yoga pretty regularly because it's pretty much the only thing that I can do um, to keep off the back pain, uh, keep it away from me. Uh, I, essentially, I have a herniated disc and it's like a whole thing. It doesn't matter. The whole point of this is just that, yes, I do stretch. I stretch very often. Uh, and I really like stretching. I'm not very stretchy, but I like to stretch. I'm actually really bad at stretching. I can't even get close to touching my feet. Here, I'll show you. Well, let's see. Actually, you can't even see me. But seriously, like, I can't, I can't, honestly, I can't even get, like, even, like, I'm, like, an, an entire arm's distance away from my legs when I try to stretch to touch my feet. <laughs> All right, we voted on a color. Have we voted thoroughly? Oh, no, it is a tie. I'm going to leave it up then. 67 votes, though. That's wild. How cool. Oh, hey, if you haven't, also, don't forget, there is a, um, a giveaway right now. Hello, Licks. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a great day. Do I stretch my hands? I stretch my hands in the form of cracking them, honestly. Like, I do a lot of this. I do a lot of this. But it's really just cracking my fingers, honestly. I don't really stretch them nearly as much as I probably should, but whatever. Hi, Nilsa. How are you? It's okay. Worst case scenario, I don't stretch my fingers enough and they fall off. And then I have to live the rest of my life without fingers. But that's worst case scenario. I mean, come on. <laughs> Do you like the new music? Is it too loud, by the way? How's the music? I got, I, I downloaded a brand new playlist for today. Very beachy sounds. I thought it was kind of cute, but I'm wondering if it's too loud. So let me know. Oh, thanks, Michelle. I'm glad you like it. This was a vote on, uh, we voted on today's live stream uh, to figure out the right time for it. I did it on a, like a YouTube community poll. I was just like, you know what? Let's change things up. Let's figure out when other people want like can make the live stream a little bit easier and yeah change it up a little bit so it looks like we're doing a different color for the the tentacles so i actually think i can cut the yarn here and hide the end i haven't done this yet with new uh with a different color so we're gonna learn something new today but i i usually just keep going in the same color so we will figure it out together i'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty easy though all I'm essentially doing here is hiding this end in a little bit and into the bottom of my piece. And then I will work around this end with our new color to uh, lock this yarn in place and change colors pretty, uh, pretty easily. So that is the plan, by the way. Um, but we are done with like the head of the jellyfish now, which is kind of nice. Uh, and so we have 72? Wow, I think that's as many votes as we have for the first one too. So let's go ahead, we'll end our poll and choose what color to be making the bottom of our jellyfish. It looks like it's going to be cyan. Okay, we're doing cyan. Let's go back to our kit and grab our cyan. That, that's gonna be very interesting. I like it, I like it. You know what, it probably is Super Mario Sunshine, realistically, never-ending nerd. Uh, uh, and I'm sure there was some of that was that was from Animal Crossing. They are all um, Can I do a poll on the YouTube community tab for next live stream too? Yeah, sure, I could do that. Uh, that sounds like a great idea. Um, uh, but anyhow, all the songs today are all from Nintendo uh, video games. Just because, you know, I'm obsessed with Nintendo. I've always have been. I used to have a Nintendo painted on my wall when I was a kid, uh, and then I got I became a teenager, and uh, I I think we painted over it. And I was I remember now thinking back and going like, man, I wish I didn't paint over that because my mom like custom made that for me. It was really cool. I I kept it up for way too long though, honestly. Uh, okay, so we're gonna count backwards stitches because I need to find the first one. Um, we have tw eighteen to work with. One, two, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18. So it'll be this one. So I'm going to pull through right here. 
to start us off. Um, the whale in the background is so pretty. I, I appreciate you very much. Um, the whale in the background is for Sir or for Cooper. Sir Cooper, who tipped, by the way. If you want to add a whale to the background, uh, do a little super chat or tip at clubcrochet.com slash tip and I will add something to the background for you. Okay, so we are on the tentacles. We're going to slip stitch here. And then I guess we're going to leave this end long actually. And then we're going to do, so we, we slip stitch one and then we chain one. We'll start this long for our first tentacle. The tentacles you make in various sizes, so you ma you can make some small, some large. Um, I suggest in the pattern to do like a variety of them because I just think it makes it a little cuter. So yeah, that's how that's how tentacles work in this pattern. Oh, Amaze Feed, well thank you for joining. And that's really cool. You've made this pattern three times already? That's crazy. Man, that must mean you really like this pattern. That's so cool. Sir Cooper, yes. Little, you're a little prince now. Uh, Powdered Orc said that their cat just gave birth to four kittens. Oh my God, that is adorable. That's so cute. I want one. Except I don't really. We have two cats, and that's a lot of cats right now, especially with Jimbo. Jimbo is a lot of cat. Okay, and then I think I slip stitch one and then continue the system here. And then we slip stitch one in the next and then we repeat it. Okay, cool. So there we go. The tent this is what the tentacles are gonna look like look like. That's actually those colors really look good together for a an octopus too. That's pretty good. Um, oh, you know what? As I continue going here, we will need to choose. Um, I want to add. I want to do a face for this guy. So we want to vote on a few different kinds of faces. Uh, why don't we go ahead and draw up a couple faces, really quick? We'll just do this on a notepad, really quick. And so I'll draw a few faces, and we can vote on the different kinds of faces that we want to do. So. Face number one, um, I think I think we should do like we could do one that's like this, like like a like this with a little tongue out, especially because we're not using pink, like a little winky guy with a tongue, that could be pretty cute. So that'll be one of them, one vote. We could do one that's like that's like um, we could do one that's like a kissy face, like that. That'd be kind of cute. We could do one that is, uh, we could do, you know, we could do a grumpy face. We could do a grumpy face like this. That'd be kind of funny, especially cause he's like a jellyfish. So he could be like a, just a grumpy jellyfish. Um, we need one more, let's do, um, okay, nerdy artist. All right, yeah, that's um, that could be kind of fun. So like one like this, like one that he's like, like, and then like he's making a wish. That's a cute one. I, I like that idea, nerdy artist. That's a fun one. Okay, so we're gonna go A, B, C, and D. And let me go ahead and put that into a poll right now and we'll vote on it. Because uh, we're going to need a little bit of time between the vote. So what face to add? Uh, so it's a uh, winky tongue. Wait, sorry. A winky tongue out. B. Kissy? 
face. Uh, C was grumpy. And D is is wishing. All right, go ahead, vote. You can vote on which of these faces to make. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna continue and crochet the, um, what, what am I crocheting? The tentacles. So I'll go ahead, I'll put this right, uh, I think right here should still be in camera and hopefully my hand won't. Actually, you know what, we'll do it up here. Mm, we'll do it up here. We'll put it right there. Can you see that on screen? Let me check. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of see it. All right, so go ahead and vote now on what kind of face to make and I'll continue making the tentacles and then we'll come back to the face in just a bit. Um, by the way, how is your guys' week been? What you guys been up to this week? Anybody do anything fun and exciting this week? Uh, anybody uh, do extraordinarily well at their job this week? How was your week? Wow, grumpy face is winning. That's shocking. Oh my gosh, Yamil, great question. So Yamil asks, um, how is the goblin takeover going? So let me first explain to the people that don't know what she's talking about, uh, what she's talking about. Um, let me count this really quick. One, two, three, four, six. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We'll do a long tentacle here. Fifteen. Okay. So what Yamil's talking about is every uh, few days I have been going to a going on a walk near my house. It's kind of like a hike almost, um, and I've been hiding little goblins in this little area um, near my home. Well, the other day I was. Uh, it was perfectly sunny out, uh, and so I walked. I went outside to go. Uh, drop off a goblin there and then it started to kind of drizzle which was really weird because it was like sunny and raining my favorite weather of all time but it was just like out of nowhere so then I was like okay I really need to go over there and fix up the place because I don't want the goblins getting wet so I went over there and then it turned I I found the place it'd been like a few days since I've been to Gobland. that's what I call the little homes that I've been making for the like, goblins and there was um someone had like accidentally stepped on their home. I think it was like a kid, like just messing around or something. Uh, so I had to do some fixing up. So I started to clean it up a lot. And then, um, and then I had my headphones in, I wasn't really paying attention. And suddenly someone comes up and taps me up, taps me on the shoulder and I turn and this is a little girl. She's like four years old maybe. And she's like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I'm fixing up this home, the homes for these little guys. And she goes, um, did you make these? And then her mom comes up with like f f three other, four other kids and another mom. And they were like, oh my gosh, are you the creator? Oh my gosh, are you the Goblin King? <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh, um, uh, like I wanted to be secretive. But then I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm the person that makes them. So then I talked to them for a while. They absolutely are obsessed with the Gobland. Um, one second. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen. Let's do thirteen, twelve. Let's do a shorter one now. Um, so uh, the little girl Willow was so cute. Uh, she was just obsessed with the little goblin and she had been like making, she was the one that kept coming back and like making extra little homes for them. So I showed her some stuff and, uh, or, or I showed her like, here's what I like to do with the little, their little homes. And we built some little homes together and it was just the cutest. Honestly, it was one of the most adorable days. It was so, so cute. Um, and it was just really nice to know that other people have been enjoying it. Um, they, they kept saying they have another friend named Zach uh, who uh, had two sons and they were obsessed with Gobland and they were like, oh my God, he's going to be so jealous that we got to meet you and we found out who you were. And I guess they had taken pictures of me secretively while we were talking. And then she was like, the the girl, her name was Chelsea, was like, was like, hey, I took some pictures of you. I hope that's okay. And I was like... Yeah, that's fine. I wish you asked me because that was kind of awkward that you were like secretly taking pictures of me. But 
whatever. I don't really care. Um, it's all good. Uh, and yeah, it was just a really cute interaction. I'm very glad it happened. One, two, three, four. We're gonna go up to 14. Five, six, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, and 14. Okay, so that was two days ago. Um, and then yesterday I went back to Gobland with my mom because I really didn't get to finish cleaning up the place. I Willow kind of went crazy and changed like a few of their homes and stuff while like she was just like playing with the, the, them like their dolls. Uh, and so I went back yesterday and like cleaned it up a bunch and made it look really, really good. I've, I'm really proud of it. I did like a whole fence. I added a bunch of sticks for a fence. I added a few more goblins. I think there's like 12, 10 or 12 goblins there now. There's a lot. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks really, really good. I am sorry I haven't been posting videos for them. I have been taking a lot of videos uh, and I wanna edit them all together into a bunch of different videos uh, where I show off the Goblin and stuff like that. But you know, I just haven't had a chance yet to do that. So, um, but that is definitely the goal is to add those soon. So yeah, there's my Goblin update for you. Uh, thank you for asking Emil and I will keep you updated on it. Um, I made a new one yesterday. It's almost done. Here's the one, here's the one I made yesterday um, that's almost done. He's a little like flattened. I think the way I made his eyebrow here kind of pulled his head in, which made him look a little weird. So I need to like kind of fix that. And he's not technically finished yet because I still need to, um, yeah, let's go ahead and try to fix his eyebrow here a little bit more space so that his head can get out a little um but yeah he needs to be i need to do one last round and stuff him up and then i need to add uh, i want to add a few things to this one like i don't know what else I, I like the hair a lot but uh maybe some rings or some like jewelry or something uh but yeah so this is going to be uh one that i'm going to add soon to it so anyhow there's my little spiel Thank you for listening. Uh, Jimbo is asleep in the wrong spot, but uh, the videos of Gobland are not Yamila. Yamil A? Yamila. Am I saying that right? Yamila? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. I think we did short one this time so let's do another long one 13, 13. um tina how what what is jack gurgle doing you know jack gurgle he loves he loves his naps he loves just going out and eating searching for grubs uh currently he's been uh trying to fix up an old motor home uh, but he doesn't know really anything about motorhomes. So right now he's been gluing a lot of sticks to the outside of the motorhome um, because, you know, he is a goblin. We all have to appreciate the fact that Jack Gurgle is not, he doesn't know anything about motorhomes. So yeah, he just thinks maybe if I just hot glue a bunch of sticks to this side of this motorhome, it'll start working again. I don't know, but he's fixing it up. He's trying to figure it out. Uh, he's been, uh, yeah, he's just been kind of hanging out, going to a lot of discos recently, uh, and yeah, just being a good old Jack Gurgle. <laughs> wow, what a story I just uh, definitely didn't just make up. Um, does the goblin have a name? The one that I just showed you? I, it doesn't, Nerdy Artist. Do you have any ideas for a name? Uh, the other day, people gave a really good name for one of the goblins, uh, not not the brave with a k uh that one was a really good name six seven eight nine ten eleven i'm gonna go that's pretty short yeah whatever we'll do one short one here we just did a really long one so we can switch him up he's trying to learn he you know jack girl is doing his best uh and he's figuring it out he doesn't want any help Every time I'm like, hey, um, I don't know if he's like, shut up. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Vanessa. You want to name that goblin Vanessa? Okay, interesting. Interesting name. Why? Where? Where did Vanessa come from? Koshandro is already done with their jellyfish. See what I mean? I knew they were gonna beat me. Congratulations, Koshandro. Now I challenge you to make another one before I finish, which actually I think is definitely doable because I'm going to be making a hat and stuff for this one. And you know, I'm pretty slow when I'm doing the log live stream. So um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go up to, we'll do 14 for this one and then I'll go down to 13 for the next one. Uh, hey, Ozecraft, how are you? Ozecraft? Osecraft. Oh, say can you craft? <laughs> Krishanda, you don't have to make another one. But if you want to, if you really think you can beat me, you go for it. I don't think, I don't know though. I, I'm almost done with this one already, so we'll see. Um... Yep, I totally agree, Ivy. Ivy is on to something. Birds aren't real. Uh, Zoe, speaking of pigeons, Zoe, uh, pigeon update. How are the pigeons doing? Uh, Zoe's got a bunch of little pigeons in her backyard uh, that have been apparently growing. I don't know. I think they're probably almost grown at this point because it's been at least a month. I don't know how long it takes for pigeons to, like baby pigeons to turn into big pigeons. I assume they do that in the factory, but who knows. <laughs> oh, Koshantra, you started an Etsy shop. Congratulations. Are you selling these little jellyfish and stuff there? You totally should. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know, if you, want to sell creations made with my patterns you're totally allowed to so if you uh would like to you know try to sell your actual crocheted pieces you totally can and in fact if you do um sorry yamila yamile yamile is that right okay this is this is my guess is it yamile i'm not going to make any other guesses so that way you can tell me if that is correct or not and if that is correct i'll try to remember it's yamile Um, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that one was thirteen. This one's twelve. We'll do. Yeah, that's that's probably good. And then I'll do a really long one for. Oh, we actually have a few more to go. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, this should be the last one technically. I don't know how it's not. I might have done something wrong, but eh, whatever. If they've got extra tentacles, it's not really the end of the world. Um, okay. Yamile, Yamile is close enough. I want to get it right though. Yamila, 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 like that. Can you write it phonetically? I'll try to do my best. Um, oh, Koshandro, you're just selling your patterns. Oh, well, you should sell your finished crochet things. But that is cool. Congratulations. Hello, Hill Simp. You are back. We're on a jellyfish kick. Oh, nice. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Baby pigeons are fully flying. They still come home in the evening. Oh my gosh, pigeons have a new baby hatchling now already? Oh my gosh. These government drones are, are multiplying at an astounding rate, it sounds like. Okay, so this one is going to be our last tentacle. I don't know if I made too many or not. So I, I have a feeling I made one too many, but we're gonna find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Jimbo is trying to harf out a a booger right now. He's the boogeriest boy you ever did see. I I I cannot there I cannot 
overstate. Understate? I don't know. He's got a lot of boogers. It's crazy. He sneezes at least once a day, a crazy giant, like human sized snot rocket. It's disgusting. It's absolutely horrible. I hate it. Uh, but there's nothing we can do about it. I've tried to fix it, but the long A sound. So long A. So like A A A. Yamile. Or is it long A sound? Yamila. Yamila. Yeah. I'll figure it out one day. Hey, Julie, how are you doing? Oh, Twiz, we're doing a new time today. I'm sorry. I thought I thought I made it uh, uh, clear enough, but my bad if I didn't. Uh, we yeah, we started at a better uh, at a different time today. Hi, Jiminy. Jimbo is starting to crawl on me, which is not. You are a baby boy. Sorry, buddy. I'm in the middle of something. We can hang out later. Okay, so we got our jellyfish's tentacles on here. I think I made one too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh wait. Never mind. I made the right amount. I must have miscounted before. Jimbo. Okay, come here. Come here. Anybody want a cat? You want to go? You want to be their friends? You want to go in the light in the light box? Here. Here's the little cat foot. Just for them. Wow. Isn't that cute? Very cat, very foot, much purr. I love you. Is this what you wanted? It really is what he wanted. He just, he just wants to be held. Can you hear him purring? He's purring so loud. <laughs> Can you hear that? It's so cute. Yeah, I know, buddy. Okay, let's put you back in your bed. He is not listening. Buddy. Okay, well, we gotta do what we gotta do. All right, so let's keep on keeping on and end the vote. Hold on, buddy. Oh my gosh, Grumpy won by literally one vote. One vote Grumpy. We're getting a Grumpy Jellyfish. I wasn't expecting a Grumpy Jellyfish, I will be honest. I was expecting the this one, the winky with the tongue out, but grumpy one. So we're doing grumpy. Okay, so the first thing we want to do for a grumpy jellyfish is get the heck out of here, Jimbo. Stop. Leave the yarn alone. Stop. Cat. Cat. No. No. Go away. This is not toy, even though it looks like toy. Stop. Okay. Buddy, this is why we needed to play with you more before the live stream started. But you were all sleepy. He has been a nuisance today, no question. He has been crazy all day long. This morning, 8 a.m., he's like, hey, hey, I want food. And I go upstairs and I'm like, hey, look at this. You've had food this whole time. And he's like, it's not enough. I want new food. Drives me crazy. Okay. By the way, I am making a, um... Oh, that's so cool, Ozcraft. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's really cool. Um, okay. Uh, we... I'm going to be using our black yarn to make the face, but we're going to actually be using it as thread. So I'm going to be tearing it apart like this. And I'm going to be tearing this part apart like that to create thread and then we're going to use this to make the face so it's a great easy way to make black thread i just thought i'd share that with you um our yarn works really really well as thread as well if you want to take it apart so cat gonna get kicked <laughs> probably not um okay 
So we're gonna start. I'm gonna start by adding a frowny face because we do have a grumpy boy coming our way here. So we're gonna start with a grumpy face, and then we'll add the eyes on either side. Yes, we will. And we might do something fun with the eyebrows too. Jimbo, stop! You're gonna get. Stop it! He keeps attacking me. He's gonna get kicked soon. He just wants to play. He keeps rolling around, being all cute, and it's like, not now, buddy. You're too cute. I cannot help from petting you. You need to chill. Okay, wait. One, two, three, and then we'll go up to there. Yes. So we're gonna go like this. Go like this. And let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's pretty good. That looks kind of grumpy. Like already, like a frowny face. I mean, we can always undo that and redo it again, but I think that works for right now. Uh, especially once we add our eyes and our eyebrows and stuff. What do we think about doing eyebrows in a color like using cyan for the eyebrows? How do we feel about that? Yes, Jimbo. Yes, I am planning on getting married, Samantha. We are we are still planning our wedding, but we are getting married. It is true. Me and Jules. Up in a tree. K S S I N G. Okay. Frowny face is frowned. You the purr smell like your cat's or your brother's farts, that's funny. Um <laughs> yes to eyebrows okay so we like the eyebrow idea we like Jimbo oh my god you think I was torturing him the way he sounds right now like, ah. crazy little dude okay we want the eyes I think I want the eyes higher up like right here probably Kind of looks like a mustache right now, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, but we'll see. We'll see what happens when we add. I think it'd be like right here for the other eye. No, that looks two different spots. Let's go one over like right here. No, that's too far away. Let's go one down from the corner of where the mouth is. Is that too low for our eyes? That's a pretty low eyeball. Kind of, it's kind of cute though. I don't know. How do we feel about that? Is that too low for our eyes? I think it is too low actually. I think it is. Let's try right here. Let's try right above where the mouth is. And right above where the mouth is over here. How does this look? It doesn't look right either. That mouth is just not in the best position. It's like in a really awkward spot. Maybe we'll go in between two stitches. I mean, it's not too bad. Especially if I had grumpy eyes. I think like right here. Let's try that. We're gonna go like right here so that it's an awkward like half stitch. Oh, is that what you're doing, Jimbo? You're trying to show me the grumpy face? Wow, it's not working, buddy. Maybe we should try doing the mouth like even higher up. You know what? Actually, I like that idea. Hill Simp, I think I think you're onto something. Let's do the face up higher so he kind of looks. Not only does he look grumpy, but he'll look a little um, more. Uh, what's it called? Like, like fancy, like a like a grumpy, like, like um, I don't know. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. But let's try that. Let's try that. And we'll try, we'll actually try the yarn, like a double bit of the yarn to make it a little thicker too. So let's, let's give that a shot. We're going to try a higher up mouth, Jimbo. That is what we're trying today. 
like up here maybe even is that too high up that's probably too high up let's try like right here do, 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 do. this is from super mario sunshine i remember this song very well wary though um okay so one two like that i believe like this we'll do our eyes on either side of that and then we'll make it grumpy just because i want to see eye positioning that's pretty good. Yeah, that that this could work. And then we'll go up from here, like just above it. We can. Yeah, look like that in between a stitch. And then we'll pull this part up slightly to give it a bit of a frown that Pull these ends a little bit more okay so that's more of our mouth I think a little bit better once we had our eyebrows I think it'll really sell it that he's grumpy we might need to undo this mouth again though I don't know if I'm loving that it's just hard to tell I think it's that I need it needs eyebrows to really sell the grumpiness I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's let's go ahead and add some eyebrows in really quick, just to get like an idea about what that would look like. Um, one sec. I need another ball. Oh, man. Cool. Okay. I don't know if cyan is gonna be the best color for the eyebrows because it looks like it's like such a bright color. Maybe it won't look as grumpy but it's worth a shot. Um, and I think that the eyebrows are gonna go like this. I'm gonna come up through right here. Nothing is knotted on the inside, by the way, so we gotta be careful as we do this. And then we'll go up to like, up to there might be a little too grumpy. Well, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Mouth sort of looks like a mustache. See, I kind of agree with that. Let's go ahead. We're going to take this mouth out. We're going to make the mouth after we make the eyes and uh, try to customize it a little bit easier that way. So we need to pull this out. Oops, I sewed around it. That's why. Yoshi story, I think. Is that too grumpy? Jimbo, why don't you go lay in your bed? Jimbo says, no. I don't want to. I am the grumpy one here. Grumpy cat is grumpy. Okay. Let's try this for one eyebrow. Okay. Do want it a little bit over the eye. So that's not too bad. We could try doing the mouth cyan too. Yeah, we could try that. So you're thinking that the... the mustachey bit was because the m mouth was black maybe you could be onto something there you could be onto something you could be onto something what are you onto something oh that looks grumpy yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. We got the eyes, I think, pretty solid. So let's go ahead, double knot these in, and we'll lock them into place, and then I'll, uh, we'll 
start futzing with the mouth. We're also definitely going to need a hat. So we probably should start voting on the hat. Um, why don't you guys give me suggestions for hats? I'm personally thinking something a little high class. I think this guy, I think I have a feeling that this is a wealthy jellyfish, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, but like, like I'm feeling top hatty personally. But I'm willing to see what you guys have to say about that. We could just do straight up a mustache. We could make this guy like straight up an evil, like, like I'm gonna tie you to the train tracks kind of uh, jellyfish, but I don't know. Viking hat, wow. That's a suggestion. All right, hold on, let's do a Q&A. What kind of hat to add? Go ahead and put the, the suggestions for hats in that Q&A, it'll be a little bit easier for me to like uh, to keep track of them that way. Um, you see, that's what I'm starting to feel, Hail Simp, is, is a, a top hat and a monocle. And uh, we're current, uh, there's a lot of pro mustaches out there. Um, so that's interesting. That is interesting. One, two two and then up and then up I mean I definitely could do a mustache um, let's try the mouth one more time see if I can't just get like a good grumpy mouth a sushi hat interesting We can try, I'll try a mouth this way really quick, just to see what happens. Like this. I'll go in through here. And out through there. And then up through this, like that. Okay, let's see how this one looks. Just a really quick idea. I mean, that definitely fixes the grumpiness, but it's no mustache. It's not a mustache, but it does do, it does give grumpy vibes, right? That's basically that face. I don't know, what are you thinking? Are we liking that? I, Cause I, I think I like it. You know what, let's tie it. I can always undo it and take it out if I ever want to. And we can, we can also always add a mustache after it's all sewn together. So if we really want to, uh, if the vote comes down to it, we can. We can change it. We can fix him. If we needed to. Ooh, we will be taking name suggestions very soon. Grumpy Jelly. I actually really, I actually do actually like that mouth kind of a lot. Okay, well anyhow, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up our crochet bits. Uh, and if we really want to, we can change up the face later. Uh, we just can't change the eye position after we sew it closed. So we're gonna start by doing one more round and then I can stuff it up with that real quick. Pizza. Samantha just says pizza for a hat. A pizza hat? What does it mean? What does it mean? I do not know. I do not know what a pizza hat is. That doesn't mean that I don't like it. I just don't understand it yet. Okay, last round here, we do single there, and then we pull this up, and then we do invisible decrease. One, and two, buckle my shoe. Look how easy that is. Pull the tentacle up, and add an invisible decrease. Easy squeezy lemon peasy. 
This was a one and done pattern, by the way. I was so, when I first did this pattern, I was like, oh my gosh, I did it right. First try. I'm very proud of that. Jules is very impressed, which made me even more proud. She's like, you don't have a pattern for this yet? And I was like, no, I just thought maybe I'll just do it this way so I don't have to sew on the tentacles. And she was like, wow. Much grump, very, very grump, wow. Woke up on the wrong side of the tide. One and two. This is the hard part of this pattern is doing the invisible decreases here because it's just like, it just can be a little difficult especially if you've never done invisible decreases before. But it really does make things a lot easier. Um, I do have it in the pattern that you don't really need to sew it closed if you don't want to, so you can keep it open, uh, up like the bottom of it open. But, you know, if you are going to give this to a kid and stuff, you're definitely going to want to sew it closed. Pizza hat for a pizza that we eat. <laughs> it's just like a piece of pizza for a hat. Okay, okay. I see what you mean now. Just a quick slice. Quick slice on the noggin. We got pizza on the mind. Okay, last invisible decrease here. We can into that front loop, okay. And then we can just stuff it and sew it closed. I did a different way to sew this closed, by the way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Yep. I did a different way to sew it closed because technically, I usually only like to sew things closed when there's like only six stitches in the bottom. But this one, I didn't want to do another round of decreasing because I didn't, well, a bunch of reasons. But one of the big ones is that uh, there just wasn't enough room for another round. So I have a different way to sew this closed that I came up with. Um, I actually used it originally on the um, those little mini whale patterns that I've been, mini whales and mini octopi and stuff that we've been adding to the um, fish bowl. So I have like a different way to do sewing it closed and I'm curious of, of what you guys think about it. It's pretty easy though. Um, okay, well, but first we need to add some more stuffing and then we can sew it closed. Ooh, a safety or construction hat is a good idea, Ozcraft. That's definitely like similar to the vibe of the mouth there. Construction jelly. Yeah, I could I could totally see that. Like a big orange construction hat. That would be pretty funny. Like he's the foreman. He's like. No, you can't hammer in there. No. I said no. Do I got to come over there and sting you? Oh my god, he could hold a clipboard, yep. Or a little hammer or something. See you later, Sora. Sor Soraya. Soraya. Do you know that Sora in Japanese means sky? Or does it mean fly? I don't know. Do you know that I don't know? Did you know that about me? That I don't know things. Little fact about about me. I don't know things. <laughs> Little fact about me, I ain't much smart like. Okay, so this is what you do. Normally I go through all the front loops and I just keep going around in the same way. But for this one, because there's too many, I go up through one front loop and then down through the next front loop. And then we, I just repeat that all the way around. So we go up through this one and then down through that one. So we kind of do like this. And it's another way to sew closed that uses basically less stitches. I mean, more stitches, um, but it still sews closed pretty well. Just another little trick, little trick. Going. And then we finish up by going up through this one. And then we can just, it's fully stuffed, yeah. 
So we can just pull it closed, nice and tight, and it should just pull that inside. And then we go straight down through a stitch here. I'm gonna go through like that stitch so that it holds everything tighter too. And then we'll come out through somewhere. Nice and tight. There we go. Our jelly is technically finished now. And we'll just need to add whatever kind of hat y'all want to vote on. So let's go ahead and pick out a hat. Uh, and oh my god, though, look at this guy. He's looking great. Hey, they're looking awesome. I love, I actually really like the grumpy face. That was a good choice, guys. Good choice. Jelly bean? That is a good name for him, actually. Okay, so let's choose a hat. I'm gonna go with... Oh, uh, ooh, I love that idea. Okay. Over. A great one. Okay, and... Interesting folks. Okay, these are great. Okay. Next thing, pull. Okay, almost done. Sorry, one sec. All right, vote now for the kind of hat you want me to make. W our votes are between a bowler hat, you know, like a like an old-fashioned bowler hat, like a, like, you know what I mean. A construction hat, so it could be a little construction jelly. A police hat, which I thought was kind of a funny idea. And then a super long top hat. So those are our votes. You guys go ahead and vote on that. In the meantime, while we're getting votes there, I'm going to do a little dance. Okay. Just a little bit more. Yeah. And then one of these. What do you think? Does that help you vote? Help you make your decision? That felt like a good move. Okay, we gotta also get rid of, we gotta put our cyan yarn back in the box. Uh, same as the purple, we can put that away. We will probably need our black yarn for whatever hat we make. Unless it's a construction hat, in which case we'll probably need orange yarn. I think we should try to get to at least 40 votes. So keep on voting on. We are at a tie right now. I'm watching. Hi, Grape. How are you? Okay, while you all are voting, let's see. What else should we do here? Let's go and... You know what? Let's look at all the things we've made so far this season while you guys are voting. Because we still got to get some more votes in there. First thing, I did give... I do... I am missing a few things from the season because I'm currently working on getting pictures of them. But last week... I don't know if you remember. But last time, we made some really fun whales. We made our fun little killer whale. Look at this. And we gave him a knife, remember? Look at his beautiful knife. I've been thinking about this guy a lot recently. And I just feel like he's so perfect. His little knife is such... Ow! Just kidding, it didn't hurt. It's made out of paper. We made our cute little... <laughs> glasses wearing... Um... Dolphin. There we go. I almost had a blank there. We've got our fancy 
Artiste Beluga. The Sailor Whale is somewhere else. I don't have the Sailor Whale right now. But he's not gone forever. He's just missing for a sec. And then, of course, we got... What's his name? Sebastian? No. So, um, Simon? Simon the Seahorse? Was that is that correct? Someone remind me. Someone remind me. But I just love him. I love his little twirly hat. Very cute. We'll keep them out. Because why not? He just doesn't like to sit up. That's his that's his big problem. Problem sit like that. And then we'll pet Kimbo. Yeah. And we'll grab our maybe our orange yarn? This is gonna be the first time I use orange yarn, actually. Um, I gotta go grab it. I gotta go grab it, Jimbo. I haven't used this color yet. Look at how vibrant this orange is, by the way. Like, wowza bowza. Especially on the purple. Really vibrant. Because that's what I'm thinking. If we're gonna do a construction hat, it should probably be orange. But let's go ahead and we'll end the poll and see what we got. It looks like construction last time I looked, but... Yep. Yes, it is. It's a construction hat. Thank you. Thank you, Jimbo. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. You're so sweet. Thank you. Wow. Oh, shoot. The giveaway link takes you to an old Instagram page? Really? No, 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 no. That can't be right. That can't be right. People have been entering the giveaway. Hold on. Is that true? Yeah, that shouldn't work. That that shouldn't be the case. Um Cuz it's working for me. Try try you doing opening it on an incognito mode uh twiz or something like that. Okay. Gosh, my gosh, Krishandra already finished the second one. Good job, Krishandra. Congratulations. You are fast. <laughs> Jimbo, that's not a scratching thing. My foot is not edible. All of this is not the way things should be working. Buddy, stop it. Stop. Four. All right, so I'm making this up as I go. We're gonna figure this out as we go here. No, don't go scratch that. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Driving me crazy. To... <sighs> no, it shouldn't be the clock Instagram. Yeah, it's probably that's what Ju what Julie said. It's probably a cached link for you, which means you have to like undo your cat like like clear your cash um what someone could do if someone would like to is if you want to copy uh the link for the forum page specifically Co cooper and post it in the chat that might help uh them out a little bit because clearly the re redirect link is not really working correctly for them um i think we want to go up to 12 and then around a single crochets. Maybe 12 is too big though. Dude, dude. Okay, okay, okay. No, we're done. We're done with that. Yeah, you know you're in trouble. You know you're not supposed to be doing that. Ah, <sighs> cat battles. Great, epic cat battles. Um, do I wanna do up to 12? Yeah, we'll do 12. We'll try 12. If we need to, we can undo it and redo it. <laughs> Guy's like, he's not playing with me. Do you need to do anything to enter the giveaway? All you need to do is fill out a form. Um, it's basically just asking for your name and email so that I can reach out to you and let you know if you won. Uh, but yeah, there, there's no like, 
at, there's not a lot you have to do to enter the giveaway. Great. What should you do if your hands are tight? This. Oh. And maybe don't crochet for a second. That could also help, Samantha. Just give your give your hands a break. Yeah, that's about as big as I want, like like wide as I want the hat. And then we'll do some rounds of, just a round of single crochets to get a little bit of height to it. And then we'll add just a little brim to it. Basically like a baseball cap, but because it's like bright orange, it'll look more like a helmet. And then what we can do is we'll add a little bit of like embroidering on the front of it to give it a little bit more of a, um, you know, a construction hat feel. That's the plan. And then maybe we'll add a little clipboard or something. Just like this. Right? And then we'll do a little little tiny hat, little tiny brim. But that looks pretty much like a construction hat already. Just the bright orange in general looks very construction hatty to me. Um, we'll do one more angle crochet gear and then we'll do I'll go we'll do slip and then we'll do single and then we'll do let's try two half doubles actually let's do two half doubles in the same stitch let's try that yeah, that looks good. Then another one of those. Looks like that. Hmm. This might look a little too much like a baseball cap. Let's find out. Skip stitch here. Uh, it kind of looks like a construction hat, I think. I don't know. Do we think that brim is too big for a construction hat? That right on the top? Oh, no, no, no. That looks like a construction hat to me. Especially if I do a little embroidery. Right? What do we think? Let's look up a construction hat just to make sure. But I, I think I like that. Mm-hmm. No, if I do half double crochet all around, then it'll be like a brim all the way around the top of the hat, and that's not really what... That's like a... Yeah, I, 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 that's that's kind of like something different. That's like a... like a, It'll look more like a bucket hat or something. I think. I could do slip stitches. Because it does have a little bit of a brim around the back end. Let's try it. We'll, we'll try, I'll try slip stitches around it. There we go. Yeah, we'll try, we'll try slip stitches around the front loops only, all the way around, and we'll see if that adds anything to it. But I have a feeling we will, well, actually, yeah, actually this, this is kind of being, this, this is looking kind of nice. Jim, this looks pretty nice because a half double crochet is just going to be too much. I'm, I'm sure about that. But the slip stitch is kind of nice because it does add a, like a brim all the way around it, which is kind of cool. And then we can have these back loops to sew it into the, onto the head itself. Foreman Jelly. Okay. Let's get a little bit of yarn, extra yarn here. Um, I'll go ahead and use this yarn. Here's my idea. Watch this. Watch this. We're going to go ahead, pull that yarn through. We're going to hide this end in into the back of this slip stitch. And then we'll use this yarn to both embroider on some detail to give it more of a hard hatty kind of feel 
And then, after that, we can use the same end to sew into, onto the head. Very versatile end here. It's the plan. And so if we do that, right there, that hides the end in so that all the bits are looking similar. And then we'll just take this end and we're gonna go, I'll go up from like right here. Yeah, we'll go up from the single, where the single crochet is. Like that, we can't pull this too tight, but that's okay. And then we're gonna go up to, like probably to that. Actually, we'll just do like a big triangle. So we'll go like this and this. Like that. I think this is gonna add just enough detail to really sell it. What do we think? Does that add, does that help? I feel like it helped. Oh my gosh, it's not focusing at all. I feel like that helped me distinguish between top hat and hard hat, you know? Yeah, that looks like a hot, yeah, that looks like a hard hat for sure. I think that's great. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sew this on. We need to choose a name though. So what we're gonna do while I'm making sewing this hard hat on is give our jelly a name. There you go. Give our jellyfish a name. Um, I might add a, I might still be adding a, um, a something to this, uh, a clipboard. I do think a clipboard would be very cute and really bring it over the end or over over the edge to make this very clear so and I I know how I'd make a clipboard too so that would make things a lot easier but before we get to that we're going to need a name for our jelly Jimbo's having a little fart attack meow 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 he says meow 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 we want this right here. Yeah, like that. Go straight to the center, and I'll just put it somewhere on the outside so I can double knot that together at the end. And I'm not gonna sew this on too thoroughly. I mean, I'm gonna sew it on so it doesn't come off, but we're, we don't need to like, you know, go crazy with it. We'll just go through the top here. And we'll just sew a few of these back loops onto the head as I go. Right, so it'll be like this. This one needs to go right into here. And we'll just do two up at the top of the head. Like that. And this one. Come on. Get out of that stitch that I want you to get out of. There it is. You figured it out, Mr. Yarn. That's a pretty good hard hat. Go up through right here. Into that stitch and then across to the right. Uh, we'll go all the way over to this one. Yeah, that's fine. Through like right here. Like that. There we go. Nice. That looks so good. Okay. I love that. Love it. All 
Okay. That's going to be our construction hat added. Next, I want to add just a little tiny... I want to add a, um, you know, uh, a, a clipboard. So I'm just going to use this for the clipboard. So we're going to go like this. And we need... Is this too small? That's too big. Do I have even a tinier clip? I might. I might. I might have a tinier clip than this. I thought I had one, like, up here somewhere. I have a bag of clips, though. How tiny is this one? Is that one even tinier? No, that's about the same size. Okay, I guess that's as small as the clips come. So, we'll use some of this. Let's use like a three pieces of this. And we'll use this clip. that and we'll just clip some paper onto it but i do want to write like some stuff on one of these clips you know like like who to look out for or something like that so let's go ahead and write on this one um, um maybe it'll be like a like he's keeping track of does anybody have a list of all the names of our different like because i can't remember the name of the killer way i like a list of all of these would be great because then we could put the names of them on the clipboard. That could be kind of cute. So if anybody's got that, that would be helpful. I'm going to cut the corners of this so it's more rounded like a clipboard. I think we should probably use the cardboard side for the front. So we're going to cut from here and to here. Okay, so there is our area of what we can write on. Anybody remember all the names for all the different things? I don't remember. I remember Pierre was the name of the beluga. Let me make sure this goes far enough down. So right here, we could do one, two, three, four. Four. Seymour for the horse. Okay, cool. We got Cheesecake Carl, that's right. We're just gonna put Carl. Seahorse to Seymour. You don't remember the Orca and you weren't here for the Beluga. The Beluga, oh yes, Stabby Steve, that's what it was. Steve. And then I'm pretty sure the Orca was Pierre. Or or yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Pierre. I'm just gonna put Pierre. Okay. Yes, Cheesecake Carl, I remember now. Just cut that out like this. Put it onto our clipboard. this beaut 
if full, I actually think we can just even just like clip this to his hand, to one of his tentacles, so that he held on. Okay, so we've got his clipboard. We need he needs a pen, right, or something like that. But you know what? We can also do this, so that way it's not so like there. But yes, he needs a pen. So, oh, you know what we're gonna do? Let me go get a toothpick really quick. Yeah, because I don't have any here for some reason. Usually I do. Um, I'm gonna get a toothpick so we can make a little pen for him. Here. In the meantime, enjoy, enjoy this cat. Okay. We're back. All right. So I got a, I got toothpicks for a pen or a pencil. We're just going to do I'm just going to go ahead and start by doing the tip of a pen. So black Big Sharpie is big. We, I'm gonna cut just the end of that, actually. Okay, that's pretty good. And then we're going to, I'm gonna go with blue for the rest of the pencil. So we're gonna go like, starting from like right here. It's kind of cyan like his arms. Well, maybe that's not the best color to do. Oh, whatever. Also feels like I'm running out of this color. It's like running out of ink. <laughs> it's coming off as I do this. Okay. So maybe we'll use a different one. Well, actually, you know what? It doesn't look that bad. Yeah, that looks like a pen. Pencil to me. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry just for a second. While that dries, let's go ahead and vote on a name. Oh wow, there's a lot of names. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, okay, okay. Um, hard action. I like that. Hard action. I love, I love Safety Inspector Frank. Good name there, Ivy. And, oh, okay, good. Oh my god, there's so many good names. We got some good names though. Okay. Wait, 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 hold on. For some reason, my freaking 
Hold on, hold on. There. Okay. Oh shoot, I had a name but but I, I erased it by accident. Oh what was it? I think it was I think it was that one. Okay. We're gonna go with that. Alright, so there's your name vote. Uh, go ahead and vote now on our name. We got Hard Hat James, Watson, Safety Inspector Chad, or Grumpy Greg. You can vote on what you want to name our new jellyfish friend. Uh, and while you're voting on that, we're going to add his pencil in this. I like the idea of him being a safety inspector. I think the name Chad was wrong, though. I think they had a different idea for the name for safety inspector, but I, I erased it, and then I can't find it now I kind of goofed it up so I hope that was close to a name I did see the name Chad on there somewhere so I'm not totally off base but that looks <laughs> that looks really good the pencil looks like really perfectly made for the character I do I kind of wish it was a little yellow but it's not bad okay and while you're voting on a name Oh, who gets the... Seymour does not get the check, right? Because Seymour is not being safe. I mean, look, at, and neither is Steve. Steve does not get that. Carl, for sure. Carl is has been safe. He's good there. Pierre, Pierre, you know, Pierre, he's got paint everywhere, but that's not really dangerous. Steve and Seymour? No. Steve and Seymour are not being safe. Look at Seymour. No way, man. That This dude, safety is not a priority to see more. And Stabby Steve, I mean, obviously, safety is so. Okay. Uh, all right, so you all have written on a name. Let's go ahead and choose a winner. Let's zoom this guy in real quick. Look, he's looking at you like, uh, excuse me, did you add your name to the list? Because I don't see your name anywhere on here think think name name here think about it i'm watching you <laughs> i'm having too much fun with that okay uh uh we're voting we're we're choosing a winner for the giveaway Wow. Okay, I will give it a second longer because there's only 48 people that have entered the giveaway. So if you want a chance to win this pin, our little octopus enamel pin for this season's uh, seasonal crochet kit, you need to enter the giveaway like yesterday. <laughs> like now, now. So I will give you a few more minutes to enter the giveaway if you really wanted to, because there are not a lot of entries, so your chances are pretty high of winning. I'm going to put it right over, I'm going to put it right over that whale. Ha look, look, he's like, have you entered the giveaway? No, you didn't, you weren't thinking. You need to think, enter the giveaway, enter it, enter. <laughs> so dumb. Okay. Okay. 
So, we are going to choose a winner of the giveaway. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh my god, you do not seem ready. Oh wait, did we vote on the name? Yes, we did. Love that. Love that for us. Our name is Safety Inspector Chad. Here to inspect and make sure that we are being safe. Talking to you, Steve. Okay, and the winner of the giveaway is random number generator. <clears throat> Drum roll, please. Go on, roll those drums. Hit that like button, roll the drums. The winner of our brand new pin. Their favorite type of jelly, you know it, it's strawberry. They do not have a favorite they do not have a favorite color, which is crazy to me. No favorite color, favorite flavor, strawberry. Their name is, congratulations to, Faith. Congratulations, Faith. Also known as Blessed Faith Lee. Uh, congratulations. You have won the giveaway. You will be winning a brand new pin. Uh, I will be emailing you after this live stream to send you a brand new pin. Congratulations, Faith. And hey, everybody who joined, you know, make sure to like this video so we can do another uh, giveaway next live stream. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate your being here and helping me create Safety Inspector Chad. Uh, I never would have made a safety inspector if not for you. Wait. For you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These arms are so much fun. Hold on, Jimbo. We're almost done. We're almost done, buddy. We're just saying goodbye. Do you want to say bye? Jimbo's thinking about saying goodbye. All right, guys. Well, guys, seriously, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We will be live again next week. Next uh, live stream, we're going to be making um, Angie, the anglerfish. We won't be naming it Angie. We'll have a different name for it. But we're going to be crocheting a, an anglerfish next live stream. So if you want to join, just make sure to like and subscribe down below. Um, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss it when we come out with new videos. Uh, and next live stream is going to be, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's safe to assume probably 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Thursday. Uh, this is for um, both Tina and Susan. Hey, buddy. You got to talk about your Winnebago that you've been working on. <coughs> what? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's not It's it's uh, not a Winnebago. It's a... Um, it's like a motorhome. Yeah, but what have you been doing to it? I uh, glued a bunch of sticks to it. Uh, that didn't really work very much. It all kind of just fell apart one day. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a hobby. It's a fun thing to do. Uh, it, it attracts a lot of bugs, which is nice. So I eat a lot of, a lot of things. And uh, yeah, when I'm like gathering sticks, I eat a lot. Of, sometimes I eat the sticks. I don't think you should be probably eating sticks. Yeah, well, I do. So, you know, what are you going to do? Anyhow, that's my update. Okay. Bye, Tina. Bye, Susan. And uh, who, who, whomever else is out there wants to give me money, I'll, uh, I'll take it. Dude, we're, you're not here to beg for money. Well, give me it anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Pasta La Pizza. Happy hooking. I'll see you next live stream. Uh, next Thursday, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> you hang up. <laughs> no, seriously, you hang up first. No, seriously. I'm, Chad, we need to make sure they hang up first. It's not safe, actually. It's, it's, the, you guys are being unsafe and Chad doesn't appreciate it. So you gotta, you got to like, subscribe, and also hang up first.
Oh, there's no cat there. Oh, but there's a kitty. Kitty. Come here. Hold on. I'll come here. Do you want to have? Phoebe doesn't want to say hi. That's fine. Whatever, Phoebe. Bye!